off track. All right, let's get started. Uh, first speaker tonight is Matt Stempek. There he is. I'll hand you this one. Just a second. Um, Matt combines old school and new media tactics for campaigns at the Nor New Organizing Institute, and now he's going to do the same for your life right now. Matt. Thanks, everybody. So we're all digital people here. Uh, we came to town uh, dance boutique, not to dance, but to watch PowerPoint presentations at an event that we probably heard about on the internet. So I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to be a little heretical here tonight and try to convince you to incorporate more of the analog into your already digital life. Um, we need sometimes to look back at the wisdom of bygone eras to make our, rich life, uh, our life richer and not get hung up staring at screens all day, which most of us do for our jobs anyway. So everyone say hi to my mom. This is Sheila. Sheila's pretty analog. She's a teacher. I've taught her a lot about computers. She's taught me about just about everything else. So tonight we're going to apply Sheila's life lessons to our lives. Mom was right. We're going to specifically talk about uh, three major areas of life, which is our relationships with other people, uh, our pursuit of knowledge, and our home, our physical surrounding, and try to combine the digital and analog. Number one, I had three brothers always getting kicked off the computer. And I, it made me realize you can get a lot more done when you're not sitting there at the computer. Um, so you know, if you learn to be selective about your screen time, you can uh, reconnect with the occasional luxury of true boredom. Uh, strangers are pretty scary, as I'm learning right now. Uh, but <laughs> good things happen when you show up in person to things. Uh, and DC has got lots of awesome events. So good on all of you guys to coming in person. Bad on all you guys watching on video. Um, uh, people really appreciate getting real mail, and it is a pain in the ass to do all that, but that's why no one does it anymore, and so you'll look twice as awesome when you do send a thank you note. Um, and this website will actually, it's like TiVo for greeting cards. They mail you pre-stamped cards. Um, so one of the most useful things Facebook does is it remembers all your friends' birthdays for you. One of the least useful things you do is log into Facebook every day. Sorry, Adam. Um, but you can actually export birthdays to your calendar, so you don't have to log into Facebook every day. Um, I hate the phone, but sometimes after like six carefully worded emails, a phone call really would have been faster. Um, and it's a good skill to have. Uh, last week, I saved like $400 by being nice to my dentist secretary for like five minutes. So, um, uh, your brain. So, we consume a lot of information online all day, but it's easy to mix up that massive information consumption with actual true learning and structured, intentional knowledge. Um, so, you know. For true knowledge, you need to pursue it, and for true success, you need enthusiasm in life. Um, and so Merlin Mann calls this rule zero, which is care intensely first, and the rest will come a lot easier after that if you actually like what you're doing. Um, so this is this potatoes your brain once you start getting paid for stuff you already know how to do. So you, <laughs> you need to very consciously get outside your comfort zone and pursue things that you don't already know how to do. And I mean, these are hard things. They take discipline and time, and you don't always get a badge for checking in with these hard things. Um, so, you know, it's way too easy online these days to feel productive when you're not actually doing anything, sorting information and sharing links. Um, so keep in mind that, you know, keep going towards true accomplishments. Um, when you've got 75 Firefox tabs open, you, they might like light the toaster on fire and you won't notice. So your physical surroundings matter too. Um, you know, open the window, uh, clean the room. <laughs> Get rid of some crap. Uh, get a snake plant. These things are like impossible to kill. They, <laughs> they are. I gave one to my roommate, and he like stopped watering it and took it out of the sunlight, and it got bigger. Um, so that's good for indoor toxins. Uh, if your place is like you know corrupted by children or noise or alley cats, uh, you can make a list of nearby places you can hop to to bring a book and read or Wi-Fi spots nearby uh, to get away, so you're in the right context to learn. Um, and here some online tools can help. Toodledo and some other sites let you sort your tasks by how much time you have available or whether you're at work or just have your phone on you. Um, and it helps you manage your energy level and that makes you much more productive. Um, and your energy level is pretty important. Uh, <laughs> if you are cranky, you know, go ahead and take a 20 minute nap. It's better than like two hours on Farmville. Um, and the, the hard part here is usually office culture. So there's places like this a massage parlor that will rent you a bed to sleep on for half an hour. Um, so anyway, I just want to try to convince you tonight to incorporate some more like old school traditional analog into your digital life 
and maybe we can find a balance and harmonize somewhere in there. Um, and so new organizing, we do old school grassroots organizing with the new hip internet stuff. And if you're trying to overcome your fear of strangers, come to our Net Squared event, March 23rd. Uh, it's a good crowd. And word to your mom. Thanks, guys. <laughs>